He plans an uprising. So I am an actor and I TV presenter. Um, how I got there, I uh, when I finished high school, I went to LA. I went to study UCLA Film School. Initially, I wanted to be a screenwriter. So I did screenwriting and directing. And this was a year, actually, it was um, the year where there was Rodney King riots, fires, uh, well, there's always fires in California, and the big earthquake. So by the end of the year, my parents, because I was, what, 19, 20 years old, my parents asked me to come back. It was too far away from home, and uh, there was too many catastrophe happening. So I came back to Paris. I moved to Paris. I started studying philosophy and... Uh, and in the same time, I joined a very important drama school called Ecole Florent. And after a year, year and a half, I was in that school. I was casted for a TV show called Union Libre in France. It was a show a bit like, uh, a sort of a, have I got news for you? And it was a great show. It worked for what, four or five years? And, but in the meantime, I did plays, I played some parts in films. So this started when I was, what, 22, 23. I think that the industry is going to, someone said one day, I hope that one day a little kid could be a Mozart and take a phone and make a movie on his own. I hope this is where the movie industry is going. Uh, because there are many, many, I think many talented people who know exactly what, they, what they're doing. And uh, I think there's, everything has to be more accessible so that we can do movies with a little budget and, and do some great work, you know, which is, I think that's where the movie industry should go. I think is right about Hollywood. Hollywood, we have to have stereotypes. We have the mother has to be like that. The father has to be like that. In French cinema is a bit different. In Italian cinema is a di bit different. I think oh, what, uh, cinema, which is really interesting, is Argentinian cinema. So in South America, they're doing many, many good, interesting things. Uh, it's difficult to... Uh, it depends, you know. Because if, you, if you're in London, you might see so much diversity, but uh, if you go 30 miles away from London, then you see a little village which is 100% white and people are still, you know, having the same habits they used to have in the 70s when Maggie Thatcher was prime minister. Same thing in Italy. In Italy, you go in, or in France, for example. In France, France is even, it's, it's even worse than that. So I think it's difficult to do to do movies that represent society. In my opinion, it's what Nietzsche used to say. Nietzsche used to say, in, to make it simple, when a society is going wrong, when everything is wrong, people are unhappy, there's a crisis, art normally becomes a happy land. Everything is, everyone's beautiful, everything is happy, there's a happy ending. When a society is wealthy, is there's no problems, is in prosperity, then we start showing negative things because we have, you know, we're fine, so we can accept things in a different way. So I always think that probably in a Nietzschean way, in a Nietzschean point of view, cinema and art does the opposite of what reality does, just to have a balance, you know. Many, but the most important one is that like we were saying, you need to take risks. You need to take risks. You need to throw yourself into it. You need to forget about the comfort zone, especially if you're 19, 18, 19, 20. I hate seeing kids, they go like, oh, I'm going to do this. No, 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 no. You don't have to be in a comfort because you're 18, 19. You have the body, you have the energy, and you have the idea to get out. So just follow your heart, follow your instinct, which might sound a bit cheesy, but it's exactly what you have to do but you have to understand what that means okay so it's really going and especially work work and work because there was a guy named Louis Jouvet who was a great teacher at the conservatory in Paris and uh, he used to say talent equal work you know about reality we are wonder makers actually we have to make people you know we have to make beautiful things you know creative Shame. things
Where is she? I hate when it's cold like that and we have to hang around. I think that's enough for now.